Charlie. Yeah. It's Glenn. Who? Glenn. Oh. Oh. Hey, I'll pick you up. Hey, Charlie. Hey. What's up, man? Your face looks kind of poofy, man. Did you just wake up? Oh, yeah. I've actually I've been crying a little bit. Oh. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. Do you have any sugar, man? I, I just made a whole shitload of coffee and I ran out of sugar. Yeah. Uh, I might. Yeah, come on in. Sure. Jesus, dude, I thought my place looked like shit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Did you have a party or something? I mean, you, you seem like you're a little hungover or some shit. No, it's I found out that I might have cancer. <laughs> what? Yeah, I found out a couple weeks ago that I might have cancer. That's why I've been kind of holed up in here. I haven't been going to auditions. I haven't, I haven't even told anybody. You, you, you haven't... You haven't told anybody that you have cancer? Uh, that I might have cancer, Glenn. I don't know yet that I have cancer. Um, I'm waiting to find that out. Uh, but no, yeah, I haven't. Jesus, dude, I, I don't know what to say. This pamphlet uh, goes over cancer and... Uh, oh, Glenn, you know what? It feels really good to get this off my chest. I've been beating myself up for weeks in here and... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean... I'm glad we can talk, you know, and we can talk, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we should talk. I started, we should talk. I just, it started out like this. I wasn't feeling well. Oh, oh I'm, did you, did you, did you want to talk right now? I was thinking. Uh, th th this is tough, Charlie. I, I, I actually can't, I, really, I, I, I can't talk right now. I got, I have this meeting that I have in like a half an hour, and I've been putting it off for like a month, dude. Okay. I should cancel it. I'll, no, I'll, I'll cancel it, dude. No? No, I mean, you know, so I don't want... I really shouldn't cancel it. And then don't. Okay. Um... Oops. Um... Uh. All right, um... Cool. cool. So... <clears throat> Listen, man, uh, seriously, keep your head up. Yeah. You, you'll, you'll get through this. I'll be fine. Yeah, look, um, just do me a favor. Just can you keep this on the DL, at least until I, I know I get the results. Oh, yeah, but of course, man. I won't, I won't, yeah, I won't I say anything. I just don't anything. want... I understand. I won't say anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, Listen, man, do, 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 can I get that sugar, though? I'm sorry. I, I'm, <laughs> I made a shitload of coffee. Yeah, you made... Okay. Okay. Thanks. There you go. Okay. Uh, I'll get this back to you. Okay. Great. Oh, well, I'm not really going to need it, so. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, no, it's, I, I mean, also, there's a bit of a diabetic issue now, so. Um... Oh, so you really won't need it then? No. Okay, great. Uh, we'll talk. Okay, DL, Glenn. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, I can't believe this. It's just no. so sad. I know. I know. We gotta go back, dude. We, we, we have to go talk to you guys. We can't. We can't go back. Why not? Well, he made me promise that I wouldn't tell anybody, and I, I don't want to betray his trust. Well, we see him at the bar. Are, uh, we, are we just supposed to act like we don't know anything? Yes. No, no. We, he cannot be left alone right now. People who are going through emotional and physical trauma have this natural tendency to push others away. But my theatrical training has taught me that what you have to do with these people is you have to surround them with a support. Well, surround no, 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 them you know, nobody support. cares about your theatrical training. That's not true. No, 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 no. Dude, she's right. You're absolutely right. No, Charlie cannot be alone right now. We, we need to, well, I got a plan. We need to get Charlie a girl. Whoa, not what I meant. No, I know, I know, but look, like you said, he should not be alone right now. We get Charlie, a girl, somebody to, to be there with him, you know, somebody to nurture him. He's, he's... No, this is a great idea, this is a great idea. Do, yeah. Make, make, do you have some friends? 
Me? No, I am not helping you guys with this. Deke, oh no, come on, don't be a pain in the ass. A pain in the ass? I work so hard for you guys. Did you know I haven't had a day off in six months? Okay, we're gonna do this again? We're gonna make it about D? Look, I feel bad for Charlie, I do, but you guys are always hatching these little plans of yours and they always blow up in your face. Uh, whatever. Okay, that's not even true, and I'll tell you what, we don't need her. Dennis, we don't need her. We can do this without Sweetie. That's right. This is a great idea, and we're gonna do this without you. We're gonna okay. find a girl for Charlie in the bar. We're gonna find a girl for Charlie in our bar. No, you're not. Yes, we are. There are never any women at your bar. Nothing but a bunch of dudes. Yep. I don't get it, Dee. Where are all the women in this city? We're at the Velvet Rope Clubs on Delaware Avenue. Why? Your bar is in an alley in the basement of a warehouse. We as we'll call it rape bar. No, see, the problem is that every time a good-looking girl does come in here, it's always the biggest asshole that winds up accosting her. The women in this city, shallow, materialistic, and dumb, just stupid. Uh, don't, 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 don't get the cans, get the bottles. Get the uh, imports. Guys, guys, you have no idea what just happened. I just met a girl who is amazing. Smart, beautiful, the whole thing. That's, that's great, dude. Which one? That, the brown one, over there. <laughs> the, the one by the chair? Yeah. That's awesome. That's a dude. That's a man. No, the brown one the with brown, the hair. Right, that's a, yeah, that's, that's a, a guy. guy. That's, that's Shiloh's friend, Carmen, right? Yeah, Carmen. Transsexual. Implants? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Look at look at look, look at his jeans. It's, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a bulge that's in there. A, that's a penis. Yeah, a, bu a, bulge a, bulge of a, penis. a big penis in it. It's a man. His jeans. It's a man, Rob. Give me a second. Yeah, all right. Okay. You know I don't need the plate. Excuse that's me. Fine. Yeah. Could you give us one second? Thanks. Is that a penis in your pants? Yeah. You lied to me. No, I didn't. You lied to me. Pharmaceutical sales, please. I saw you on that episode of Law and Order. No, don't turn this. Law and Order, you saw that? Yeah. Rob. Yeah, really? Did you? Can we go? Please? You were really good, actually. You think so? Yeah. I thought it was a little no, over the Rob. top. No, 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 I thought it was great. Come on. I gotta go. Oh. But, um. You know what, man? I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you. Bye. <laughs> Please, I am exhausted. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, I know, I know. Here, drink this. You're gonna love this. We figured out the best way to make Charlie feel better. You know that waitress over at the Java Hut, the one that he's, like, in love with? Yes. Well, the waitress is perfect. And here's the kicker. Charlie saw her wearing one of those Lance Armstrong bracelets, the yellow ones, the Race for the Cure ones. So I figure she's probably a very compassionate person towards uh, sick people. Okay. So... So, here's the thing. I'm thinking maybe you could talk to her. Look, this, this whole thing's gonna sound better coming from a girl than from a guy, right? I cannot just march up to this girl and tell her that he has cancer. It's just not gonna work. Women trust other women. Dennis, I have already told you that I'm not getting involved in this. I'm overworked, I'm underpaid, and I'm not going to be your pimp. I am sure that there is something that Mac and I can do for you that will convince you to help us. Make it in the big city is to shake it. That's what I do. I shake it at the Coyote Ugly. Sing. Uh -huh. Wow, Artemis, uh -huh. that was amazing. <laughs> you are by far the best actress in class. Oh, oh wow, thank you. But you won't be seeing me here anymore. I lost my job at the Wawa. Are you doing another scene? I'm thinking about going on welfare. Sucking off Uncle Sam's teeth. Oh, God. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Hello? Dennis, hey, it's Dee. I was... 
What are you listening to? Uh, Rick Astley. What's up? I figured it out. I know how to bring girls into the bar. Really? I want you to hire a new bartender. Sweet Dee, we talked about this. No, no, just listen. I was thinking that we could do one of those Coyote Ugly themes with the girls dancing on the bar and taking off their bras and stuff. I'm telling you, women love this shit. I'm listening. My friend would be perfect. And she'd work for tips only. Would she wear the uh, hot pants, tank top, want to hump, hump, humps? Sure. Do it. Okay. But I'm going to have to train her, so I'm not going to have time to work on that waitress. You have to choose Charlie's Waitress or Coyote Ugly. Well, you think this was a good idea? This is so typical. I tell you I need help behind the bar. I find someone who is perfect. And just because she doesn't have the right hips or whatever, you just totally cast oh, her please. aside. You just want somebody to do all the grunt work for you. Hey, yo! What's going on? We are hiring a new bartender. No, we're not. Hi. How you doing? Nice. <sighs> Dennis. Guess what? This is great. Charlie lied to us. He doesn't have cancer. Oh, so now you're going to tell her Big that I did not have cancer. Yeah, I did. What are you talking about? Oh, my God, guys. These guys are chasing me because I punched a tranny. Can we get out of the way? Alice, when Santa came out at halftime and we threw batteries at him. That was great. This is going to be eight apple, take number two. Pound Mark. Be Mark. No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. No. This has to stop right now. I, I was going to get in the shower. Oh, I don't give a shit what you were going to do. Okay, you can't just lounge around like that. Why not? I think I can see your scrotum. Dude, we just, you know, I mean, we gotta be safe, dude. People already assume that we're gay. Let me get this straight. You f girl that Charlie's had a crush on for over a year? Yeah, but only after he completely blew me off. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. We're gonna just get naked in the house, smell like vagina, and then take a shower. God. What is that? Right there, in that region of the foot. Oh, ew, yeah. I had that on my foot. I have that. Have you been wearing my shoes? No. No. See, I've been wearing yours. Uh, the Pumas. I haven't been wearing socks. The mother part in the mother Michael Bay movie that was promised to me. And then that's an Academy part. <laughs>